Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a really high quality green screen capture using a webcam, maybe a mirrorless camera, OBS, A7 III, A6000. Uh, we'll talk about G85. Let's get to it. Okay, in this segment, I'm going to record 720p at 30 frames per second. And I'm using MJPEG and my audio is going through the Behringer. You're going to see four different colored backdrops. So we're going to see the quality of the green screen that we can get from four different color backdrops and uh, the overall results when I export the uh, clip to MP4. Let's take a look. Okay, so in this segment, I'm recording at 1080p. Um, I'm also in MJPEG, and I'm still doing 30 frames per second. And I'm gonna use the same four colored backgrounds so you can see the difference. So let's take a look, and uh, we can compare the 720p to the 1080. Okay, so what did we learn from this exercise? Um, if you're trying to do green screen in Camtasia, and I'm using Camtasia Studio 9, I'm working on an i7 8700K PC with 32 gigs of RAM, and I've got Camtasia set to software mode. I'm not, in, if you go into Camtasia's preferences, you have the option of setting to GPU acceleration or software mode, and I found the software uh, only mode seems to work better. Um, so what I found is, you know, you see the two comparisons here. We got 720p, you got 1080p. 1080p is unusable. It's no good. So what I do in my day job when I, I have to record, um, I use I can use Camtasia to record 720p. And when you're looking at it full screen, it's not bad. But when you shrink it down to be picture in picture size in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, it becomes very usable. And as you can see, if I scrub back and forth here on the timeline, so I'll start at the very beginning. There's the dark uh, gray brick wall. And there is the uh, pictures in the background. There's the abandoned building with all the green, the intense green, and then the blue. Um, the fringing is not bad. And now if I simply take the uh, green screen and render it down and move it into the bottom right hand corner and play it, we're going to record 720p at 30 frames per second, and I'm using MJPEG. Just stop it there to make it more realistic. I'd probably size it up to about there. Again, my audio is going through the Behringer. You're going to see four different colored backdrops. Now, you know, I'll be totally honest with you. If I zoom into 100% right here, and let's move this over, you can definitely see the green fringe, okay, um, if you zoom in that close. But... If you size it to fit the screen, and depending on your audience, if there are nine times out of ten, my audience are watching it on a laptop, um, it's quite acceptable. So that's one way if you need to get green screen, uh, say for an e-learning course or some kind of a training video or something like that, and you're using Camtasia, just record it at 720p, 30 frames per second, MJPEG, and you can get a decent result. And the results are basically one-click green screen. So now that we've done uh, two samples, both in Camtasia, I'm going to show you a solution to get an even cleaner uh, green screen. And the other thing to keep in mind is the reason that I'm, I'm shooting this here. So you can see my green screen right now is, is literally, I don't even think it's two feet behind me. So that's really problematic when you're shooting green screen because the light shoots off the green screen and it backs, you know, it reflects off the back of your head and that's why you get that green fringe. So if you have the room to do proper lighting, you want to have the lights that are in front of you that are lighting you to be um, at least half as uh, more powerful than what you have on the screen. Okay, so you want the greatest amount of light coming on you and the least amount of light on the screen, but you want to light your screen as evenly as possible. And so I'm doing everything here within like a two feet in front of me and two feet behind me. And I just have two Godox um, LED panel lights uh, to do it. And, and I'm still getting acceptable video, uh, acceptable green screen. So that's that's pretty impressive. The problem here is that there's, there's two issues. Camtasia doesn't handle rendering very well, not as good as some of the other programs. Um, 
and also the small sensor size from the Logitech webcam is is really problematic. So you know don't expect the world when you're recording at 720p and forget about 1080p um, green screen recording with Camtasia because it just it won't do it. The next thing I'm going to show you is a sample using OBS and uh, if you're familiar with OBS it's a free program and you can record uh, a green screen in OBS and bring it in so let's do that right now we'll take a look all right so this segment will be a little bit of a behind the scenes uh, segment and the idea is that I'm going to record so I'm using my a6000 right here I've got the webcam on top and you're looking at OBS and I've set up OBS to record the webcam and the, and the AT2020 through the Behringer. Uh, very straightforward, but you can see the green screen um, behind me. So the idea is let's see if we can use OBS to get a better quality uh, green screen and bring that into Camtasia, knock out the green and uh, we'll see what that looks like. And you'll also notice that on the uh, shoulders behind me on the top of the chair, I put a, the actual bag that the green screen comes in um, over the back of the chair and that'll make the chair disappear so it'll give us a little nicer uh, you know you don't have to see the back of the chair in the in the screen so that's a good thing uh, yeah so let's get into it we'll take a look and see what we can get okay as you can see what I've done here is I brought my OBS clip in and I put my typical backdrop in behind it and so now let's just shove this up and we'll see what we can do here okay so if I take my crop tool like so, just to show you. I'll start right from the beginning. I would just take this right out. So there's the entire clip. And all I've done is come to the top of Camtasia, selected the crop tool, come over to the handles like so. I usually crop it out first, but it doesn't matter. You can, okay, then select your clip and visual effects, drag your remove a color down and <clears throat> we need to make sure that our properties are showing over here. Oh, here we are. Let's click on this, click on your clip, click on your eyedropper, bang, there goes your green. And so now I'll just play this. Let me just uh, raise that audio a bit. You're looking at OBS, and I've set up OBS to record the webcam and the, and the AT2020 through the Behringer. Uh, very straightforward, but you can see the green screen um, behind me. So the idea is, let's see if we... So that is a pretty darn good green screen, and I haven't touched any of the uh, green screen controls over here. But right away, you notice, I can see the background through there. So really what we want to do is take our tolerance down a little bit, maybe down to six, and just kind of scrub back and forth. It's not too bad. We could, we could go down maybe a little further, maybe down to four. So I'm going to go back up to 10 here just for the heck of things. Yeah, so if I zoom in to 100%, if I set it at 10, I see very little fringing like it's, and then if I drop it down, I think that's going to ex accentuate the, uh, so there's at five. Yeah, I can see a little bit more fringing at five. So uh, we'll compromise. We'll leave it at eight. Let's go to fit to screen and play this again forward. But you can see the green screen um, behind me. So the idea is, let's see if we can use OBS. Let's make our screen a little bit bigger for you. And I think the size of the green screen is not too bad. We just move it over a little bit and let's let it play let's through. Get a better quality. Uh, green screen and bring that into Camtasia knock out the green and uh, we'll see what that looks like and you'll also notice that on the uh, shoulders behind me on the top of the chair I put a the actual bag that the green screen comes in um, over the okay so what you're looking at right now is the mp4 so I created a separate mp4 I brought it into Camtasia and then I've recorded this green screen over top just so that I can talk to you but you can see um, 
looking at uh, the green screen that the OBS recording is far superior um, to 720p. So 720p is not bad if you're doing picture in picture, like you just want a small talking head in the bottom corner of your screen. Um, but if you want something that's a little more clear, you want to be able to blow it up, then you know I would recommend using OBS and recording at 1080p. You get a nicer green screen and uh, a little better quality. And it really just depends on your target audience. You know, like who's this going out to? I mean, these are not Hollywood productions. This particular video is essentially a training uh, video. So at the end of the day, you really want to ask yourself, is the message getting across? You know, and in this particular case, basically we've looked at, okay, well, uh, 10, uh, 1080p doesn't work in Camtasia. 720p at 30 frames per second does work. Um, uh, you can create that in Camtasia and get a fairly good result. If you want to improve the results, uh, then you know record your video in OBS. And now we'll take a look at the next step, and that is substituting a mirrorless camera um, instead of your webcam. And we'll take a look at the quality of your green screen when you go that route. Okay, so in this segment, I'm recording with my uh, Sony A6000 right there. And my C920 has been moved over there. And so you can see the difference um, that we're going to get from a 1080p recording uh, coming out of the Sony A6000. So let's have a look at that right now. All right, so in this segment here, we've got the uh, original first recording that we did with the webcam, the Logitech webcam. And so if you look at it, you can see the green fringing. You know, you can see... Uh, the color in the shirt isn't too bad, but the, you know, the fringing with the webcam is the issue, and it's because we're working so close to the green screen. And then we come over to 1080p in OBS, and the one thing I should mention is that these were just very quick. Uh, I didn't spend any time at all, hardly, um, tweaking the settings for the green screen. So I noticed there's a little bit of an issue here with the eyeball showing through uh, from OBS, but... Um, that, that's very, very minor. So you're jumping here from 720 to 1080p. Um, you know, spend a couple extra seconds here with the filters in OBS and you get a, a, a good quality uh, result or a better quality result. And then when you jump over to the mirrorless camera, it's like, holy cow, the difference is night and day. You know, more, ris more realistic color rendition, no fringing at all. You know, just a very, very sl almost undetectable green tint there. Um, so there you have it folks, three ways to capture green screen. Okay, in this final clip I'm using my Sony a7 III and um, let's see, my shutter speed is uh, 60th of a second and uh, yeah, 60th of a second and I'm at f1.8 and so I think and the resolution is 4K so this should be the best of the bunch I would think because it's a full, full size sensor. So yeah, let's take a quick look and see uh, how it compares. Okay guys, so we covered a ton of stuff in this video. Uh, starting with green screen fundamentals, um, you want to have more light on you than what you do on the background. And the further you are away from the background, the less the possibility is that you're going to get the dreaded green fringe. Um, but as you can see, or as you've seen in this video, even when the backdrop is two feet behind you, uh, you can still get a decent result. You just have to consider who your target audience is, where your video is going to be shown, and what the quality is that you're expecting out of it. In most of the stuff that I'm building, uh, technical training stuff, at the end of the day, we ask, is the message received? You know, does the person understand the message that's coming across? And does the video enhance that? And that's really what you're, you're looking for. So now you know, if you're going to record using Camtasia, Camtasia and 1080p, forget it. It's, you know, I'm asking you guys, if you, if you <laughs> figured out how to get Camtasia to record uh, properly at 1080p, um, you know, and get a good result, I'd love to hear about it. But um, for the most part, I just record 720p, 30 frames per second, and... I, I work with it that way. And then if I need some better quality, I can jump into OBS um, or I plug in the Sony a6000 and get an even uh, awesome result from that. So, uh, and then stepping up from that, you're going to uh, a7 III. So for green screen, the more resolution you have, the better quality, because the more pixels you have to play with and the more adjustments that you can make in Camtasia. But the beauty of green screen in Camtasia is literally one click 
Um, with the exception of the A6000, I had a bit of hue adjustment there. Um, but, you know, it's just play around. Get uh, You're looking for a result that you're going to be happy with, that's going to um, meet the needs of your target audience, and it's going to get you to where you want to go. So uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and like, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Okay, bye for now.